This is Kenneth Yates with FightHubTV.com and I'm here with Raquel Paaluhi and her boyfriend Dustin Kimura uh, who's coming off a brutal knockout tonight or a, a, a win. He's a the new champ. What, what pound is that? Uh, 145. How was your fight? Talk, about, talk a little bit about it. I knew it was going to be, knew it was going to be a war. Like, we're both, uh, we're both 4-0. Like, I, I knew he had good jiu-jitsu, uh, good Muay Thai, but uh, I felt like I had the sharper hands and uh, superior jiu-jitsu and superior wrestling. And I, I, I just had too, too much heart and too much at fight for it too. I knew I, I, knew I wouldn't I'd find a way to win. So do you have another fight lined up already? or? Uh, there's one in March that was uh, is guaranteed. Uh, the champions three are supposed to defend. We're gonna defend the title now, and, and then we might have had something sooner. But I broke my hand in the first round of this fight, so we're probably looking at the March fight. Uh, my hand. And Raquel, you fought on the last X1 event. Um, yeah. Talk a little bit about your fight. How did you do? Um, my last fight, I fought Sarah Delilio out of. Washington, she fights out of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu with Olympia. Um, it ended in the first round, I tore my MCL and my, uh, my elbow and I dislocated it, so the fight was stopped. Um, I guess we were standing up and I caught her a few times, she didn't want to stand, she tried to put me against the fence, so after that I kind of, so I put her against the fence, she reversed it, she went out to take me down, so I threw her like in the head and arm and my, I just stayed in that position too long and she put the she got me in an arm bar, but I wouldn't tap, so I just tore everything in my arm, and then they stopped the fight. And do you have any other fights lined up? In March, definitely. Um, I was supposed to fight on this card, but my arm is still healing, so in March I'll be ready to fight again unless I find something sooner. And a lot of people want to know, do you guys train together? Definitely. You know, yeah. you guys live together, train together, yeah, support much, each other? Yeah, yeah. yeah for live the, together, train yeah. together. Yeah, past eight months, like, we've been able to train together, and it's always honest. Punch me hard. And, <laughs> I mean, everyone knows that he's, a, you know, a spectacular jiu-jitsu fighter, you know, jiu-jitsu guy. So he's helped me a lot there, and I mean, a lot of opportunities have opened up with both of us to be able to cross train. And I've met like a lot of people that have helped me get better. And how did you guys meet? By training together? Actually, he was training with Yanti Buderis. Yanti, um, he fights for Strike Force. Yancy is one of my good friends. We train at the same gym, so we fought on the same card in January. And it was kind of yeah. like, hey, Yancy, tell your friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's kind of how it happened a couple months later. Oh, all right. Well, well, that's good. I mean, uh, congratulations on your win tonight and being the, the next thank champ. You very much. And I uh, can't, can't wait to see both of you guys in action again. Yeah, thank you. Can we make a quick shout out to the sponsors? Definitely. Uh, we have Boy United right here. They've made like a big sponsor. Go looking for their shirts and stuff. And, yeah, but a regular concept. Yeah. Ideal, ideal fighter. Yeah, ideal fighters too. There's Gracie Technics, Jesusu Lu, Boxing. Uh, oh, Ring Dolls and Island Athletes out in Wadua. Uh, if you need things printed, you know, she does a great job. Yeah. So. There's everyone that, everyone that helped us. Riley Zars, Jesusu Lu, Mikhail, Uncle Doug, Leland, Chapman. Just have a lot of people that, that push out that. I wouldn't have had the same amount of success with that. Uh, and tactical strength and conditioning. And hot yoga nimits. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget them. Yeah. Thank you very much. No, no problem. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you again. Yeah.